biology, physical anthropology, or archaeological anthropology, or social cultural anthropology. Okay, so everything is interconnected and interrelated. So, okay, class, now we do have to discuss about our first topic that is meaning. scope and development of anthropology okay now let's see the first top point meaning So we know that anthropos is a combination of two words, anthropos and logi, that is study of a man. Okay, so a study of a man. And now, while you say that anthropology is a study of a man, the key point here is it's a scientific study of a man. Okay, so it's a scientific study of a man. Okay, scientific means that whatsoever theories, concepts we are making to explain and studies about men behavior it is based on empiricism what is empiricism empiricism is scientific investigation now after understanding that okay this is the study of a man you must quote and in our discussed detail lectures, we are going to talk about lot many anthropologists. You should be knowing lot many thinkers like Jacob and Stern. Okay. You do have Immanuel Kant. Definitely you have Aristotle who is also considered as the father of Anthropology, we have not many thinkers, we do have Malinowski, Redcliffe Brown. They have systematically defined the subject anthropology. Now, for example, Immanuel Kant says that it is a study of a first man on earth. in a holistic manner to the present say to the present day society okay for example Aristotle says that anthropology is a gossip of men okay Jacob and Stern says that we study men by focusing on bio social elements okay so these are some of the different thinkers who have defined anthropology differently but what you people have to write in your answers that is something really important for us okay so we do know that there are some basic characteristics which you have to bring. For instance, UPSC did ask that what is holism in anthropology? Why anthropology is a unique discipline? So we would say that anthropology is a study of a man 
ओके एंथ्रोपोलॉजी स्टडी मैन सो दे स्टडी मैन इन होलिस्टिक मैनर ओके इन टाइम एंड स्पेस it is integrative it is integrative study holistic time and space and it is a comparative study now you need to understand these four key terms in the meaning of anthropology so what is holistic what is holism in anthropology let's have a discussion on that holism mean we study entire men's evolution right when there was even no art okay the kind of art which we see today right so we try to understand that how men have evolved to understand that we are also understanding in one of the branches of anthropology that is archaeological anthropology okay so we are reflecting on the term holism and i am right now talking about archaeology archaeological anthropology now here i am trying to understand the origin of earth so here i am going to understand about geology Okay I am going to talk about big bang Okay so how there was a sun and how because of gases and volcanic activities and all we have got the earth and all the nine planets for that matter we are going to have a little discussion on it then we are going to understand by studying the layers of the earth that is the stratigraphy that how earth has evolved and how the life forms have come so we are going to read about this the life forms originate hue kaise so from azoic period azoic period is no life form to holocene period the kind of men which we see how they have evolved to understand that we are focusing on archaeological anthropology how do we know that the kind of modern men we we are today homo sapiens sapiens how we have evolved for that we are dependent on fossil evidences and other dating methods to tell that okay which particular period that fossil belongs to okay so how from dryopithecus we have moved to Shiva Pithecus, Rama Pithecus, Gigantho Pithecus, Australopithecus, then Homo habilis, Homo erectus. All this we are reading here. Okay, one segment is that. Now we are also going to understand about biological evolution. For that, we will try to see how do we have. variation and diversity so in this we are going to read lot many biological theories okay how we have evolved how we do all humans look different from each other now we have a complete understanding of genetics we know it's a gene which plays an important role because of which we get certain traits from our parents and then because of random uh because of that 
random things which happens in the genes you know we try we, so when the gene is forming into us it is because of randomness as well and because of that we have our unique dna okay so random mutation hota hai random mutation is the alleles in our cell which randomly form their form like you know jo randomly aapke uh, aapke dna jab form ho raha hota hai zygote ke time to wo randomly decide hota hai it is not decided so because of that we do not look look like our exactly like our parents okay so all these factors which we know today because of the science and discoveries but before that what was what kind of theories we were having the theory of lamarck charles darwin theory and other theories which was telling us about human uh, which was telling about human biological evolution and then we read about human genetics and all that so here biological evolution now once we have become homo sapiens sapiens how we have created society and culture this is your social culture anthropology then we were also trying to understand that the major role which is played in the creation of society and culture it is language so this is your linguistic anthropology now you can analyze that there is nothing which anthropology is living from astronomy formation of the galaxies for example edwin hubble when he discovered the major telescope he gave two important points that our galaxy is not the only galaxy and it is expanding later on we have got george lemaitre who gives us big bang theory that is also we read okay then we are reading about biological evolution then we are reading that how our ancestor has created the society the kind of norm stability which we see today how it has come up aise hi marriage of institution nahi aa gaya religion nahi aa gaya the kind of society which we see today it is a product of hundreds and hundreds years of evolution both biologically and social cultural part this is why it is a unique subject because it is making no distinction between biology physical anthropology or archaeological anthropology or social cultural anthropology okay so everything is interconnected and interrelated right so this is how we have understood that why it is holistic okay so it is holistic because of its branches which we have discussed okay so archaeological anthropology social cultural biological linguistic and all right now integrative definitely it is integrative so we know that when we have evolved biologically then only we have created society so everything is interconnected so bio social element now time and space so we are interested even about our extinct ancestors and living ancestors right living primates and how we have evolved and no space so in geography we try to understand all the continents and the evolution how it took place so when we are talking about homo erectus we are talking about that how homo erectus was there in western continent okay western continent may eastern continent may kaise they have evolved china may kaise the homo erectus india may kaise the okay so time and space and then we compare so it's a comparative so this is how we can explain one segment that is the meaning of anthropology now what is the scope of anthropology you can see that i have discussed almost everything all the discipline i'm talking about genetics i'm talking about blood everything so the scope of anthropology is vast 
ओके एंड हाउ द सब्जेक्ट हैज डेवलप्ड सब्जेक्ट हैज डेवलप्ड इन डिफरेंट फेसेस ओके सो अर्लियर ट्रैवलर्स एक्सप्लोरर्स यू नो साइंटिस्ट दे डिड नो व्हाट दे आर टॉकिंग सो दे वर एक्सप्लोरिंग सो द फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट मैन कमिंग फ्रॉम ट्रैवलर्स एक्सप्लोरर्स साइंटिस्ट ओके so that is a formalistic period then we have got constructive period so thinkers science when become dominant then we have constructive and then critical so anthropology as a scientific discipline evolved into various phases okay so this is just a short summary of our first topic meaning scope and development of anthropology okay so i hope you people like this Thank you.